you see, see the standard values of the electrode potentials at uh, wh what are these standard values the standard values are at, uh, uh, at 28 degrees of centigrade temperature 23 or 25 25 degrees of centigrade temperature and one molar of the concentration or one atmospheric pressure that is we known as uh, standard conditions so for the standard conditions various metals non metals and various metals or uh, non metals or hydrogen so hydrogen uh, molecules are uh, contain some of the values like um, like this so when we write the representation of the standard uh, electrode potential values uh, we insert some not at the uh, e, e value so emf value electro electromotive force value in, in insert some uh, e not not indicates that this, uh, that is the standard uh, that is the standard electrode potential so standard electrode potentials so this is standard standard electrode potentials uh, zinc uh, first for the zinc so is this a reduction potential or a oxidation potential if you have a doubt uh, reduction potential or oxidation potentials so if something is there e metal is going to be metal in uh, their ion form that is in aqua solution only this will convert into mn plus so this uh, we call it as oxidation this is called as oxidation and e is the oxidation so if you see this is the oxidation if uh, uh, if it is uh, not means it is standard conditions so this is the potential due to the uh, oxidation takes place so this is the electrode potential that means there is a positive and negative charges uh, accommodated uh, at the electrode and uh, there is a potential difference uh, exists between the two the oppositely charged ion, charged ions that's why this uh, potential is a uh, uh, potential we measured as emf electromotive force and if i have uh, that e naught is m n plus is going to be metal that means what is here happening is we are adding some of the electrons here so electrons we are adding that's why it is we call it as it is a reduction potential e naught of reduction potential like this if you if i have a zinc 2 plus ion what is the meaning of here is the zinc 2 plus ion zinc so zinc is the metal zinc is the metal we know all know that this is the atomic number of the zinc will be 30 atomic number will be 30 so what is the meaning of this is 30 protons and 30 electrons so listen carefully this is very very important 30 pro why do we uh, represent with the positive and negative uh, signs on the metals so the, here it is 30 positive and 30 negative charges so this, uh, that is the uh, metal atom having the neutral charge charge on the metal is neutral so if i remove the one electron from it so zinc will get uh, uh, n plus plus i am removing one electron that means what i am what i am do, uh, doing here is the 30 protons and 30 electrons so obviously i can remove only one electron why i am can't i remove the protons that is the mass of the proton is 2000 times greater than the electrons so i cannot touch the, mm, the protons only i can uh, remove the electrons that is a negatively sign one and here is the positive sign so when i remove this one obviously how many protons are there 30 plus signs and 29 uh, minus signs here so one electron i remove so excess of what the uh, uh, which charges are uh, excess here on the zinc that is plus sign so obviously i can write a zinc plus if i am uh, uh, removing another electron then it will get uh, two plus ion plus two electrons so that means uh, there are uh, 30 positive signs but 28 negative signs two electrons i removed so this obviously get the two plus charges so uh, here what i am doing is zinc two plus is going to be zinc 
so here it is zinc 2 plus is going to be zinc zinc 2 plus is going to be zinc that means there is a uh, electrode potential is minus uh, 0 0.76 if uh, uh, this is the electrode potential of the copper so what is the electrode potential of the uh, copper uh, copper is uh, this is we call it as reduction potential so here it is a reduction potential why it is reduction potential this is the reduction potential so this is oxidation when zinc loses uh, electrons this is oxidation if i if already uh, zinc is in two plus state you, when i add some electrons to this then zinc obviously get into one positive charge plus i am adding another electron then zinc going to be zinc solid here is in aqua solution here it is an aqua solution is going to be zinc solid so here what is happening here is the oxidation takes place here uh, is the oxidation takes place here is the reduction takes place so here is a reduction takes place there is a charge separation between the um, positive and negative charges uh, due to this positive charge negative charge separation there is a uh, potential generated that potential we call it as electrode potential so here this is a reduction potential this is also reduction potential silver plus going to be silver that means one if i add one electron then it will be um, undergoes a reduction so this is silver plus going to be 0 0.80 volt that means here is a chromium 3 plus going to be uh, chromium here also reduction reduction everything will be uh, reduction here so these are the reduction potentials so if you see the reduction potentials of the hydrogen H plus is 0 here so it is a 0 value so total how many metals non metals and hydrogens were there uh, here total 9 with there how many uh, cells we can make uh, with the 2 pairs so 9 C2 9 factorial by 9 minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial if you do that one will give something value so leave about that one so here is the what is the metal first combinations we can give metal metal combination so first we can combine the metal metal combination so we can combine if i have a two beakers two beakers here is the two beakers and i have a salt bridge between these two and here are the some electrodes are present here so uh, in this also metal is there so here is the metal and this one also metal so there are two metals are present here so both are metals another uh, thing is we can add one is metal one is non-metal and one both are non-metals and one is a metal hydrogen we will see all the combinations so first combination will be metal and metal so in that a if you that the metal combinations reduction potential i am adding some e naught of zinc 2 plus and zinc so reduction potential will be minus 0 0.76 volt and another metal is this metal is this one and another metal is copper if i take e naught of uh, copper 2 plus going to be copper is equals to plus 0 0.36 plus 0 0.34 or 36 so here it is 3 4 3 4 so this is 3 4 so uh, if I write the uh, which one is the anode here which one is the left side is present that is anode anode means anode that is oxidation takes place uh, central uh, bridge will be present and it is cathode A B C so it is cathode so anode means oxidation so reaction um, uh, how can I uh, write the uh, represent in uh, junction uh, junction uh, junction representation so combination i can represent with the salt bridge by uh, symbolic representation that one uh, will be zinc going to be zinc 2 plus left side is anode oxidation is taking place and another salt bridge is there and uh, right side that is the cathode cathode side is the um, cathode side is the which metal it is so copper 2 plus 2 copper how can we uh, write the that one is right side and left side so based on the based on based on standard standard reduction reduction potentials 
okay so then standard reduction potentials so which one having which one is um, greater greater the value of reduction reduction potential potential that is a good oxidizing agent good oxidizing agent what is the mean and we write uh, this one in right hand side so right hand side that is cathode simple it is we uh, compare the values of the reduction potentials standard reduction potentials mm, standard reduction potential if you compare this is minus 0 0.76 and if this one is a plus 0 0.34 which one is higher value so obviously it is higher value so this come right side that means it is a cathode so it is cathode right cathode if you have so cathode means reaction at anode what we, what is the reaction at anode we know that uh, anode is oxidation so zinc is going to be zinc 2 plus plus 2 electrons reaction at cathode so reaction is cathode is the reduction so reduction which metal is present at the cathode copper 2 plus going to be taking two electrons and going to copper metal here it is copper metal is de depositing copper metal is deposited this is reaction at cathode so net reaction will be net reaction will be so if you cancel these two then zinc plus copper 2 plus gives rise to zinc 2 plus plus copper copper so this here is the e naught cell we can find out the e naught cell is equals to e naught of uh, um, oxidate oxidation and e naught of the reduction so e naught of the oxidation is the left hand side oxidation is this one so oxidation means e naught of zinc by zinc 2 plus plus e naught of reduction means copper 2 plus by copper but a given values are uh, minus values so this is a minus of uh, e naught of zinc 2 plus by zinc and plus e naught of copper 2 plus by copper so minus of uh, this one is the uh, uh, plus value so minus of uh, given value is uh, for the zinc is minus of minus uh, 0 0.76 plus 0 0.34 is equals to 1.1 1 .1 volt so due to the combination of these two cells how, uh, how much uh, um, how much uh, uh, voltage of power is generated that is 1.1 uh, volt so this is a spontaneous reaction why it is spontaneous if e cell e cell is positive that means it is a spontaneous reaction whenever it uh, e cell will come positive that means spontaneous reaction next thing is uh, metal hydrogen combination so next thing is metal hydrogen combination hydrogen combination so first combination is metal metal combination second thing is metal hydrogen combination if you see the metal hydrogen combination first you take the e naught of the zinc uh, zinc is uh, zinc reduction potentials of the zinc going to be zinc is equals to minus 0 0.76 volt and uh, e naught of h plus by h2 h2 is equals to 0 volt 0 volt so which one should come right side can you tell me which one should come uh, right side here uh, either this one or uh, this one so we have compared the values of the this is minus 0 0.76 that means if you take the it is 0 and this values are negative and this values are positive so obviously negative means uh, lower the value and this is the higher the value higher the value of that standard reduction potential that means it is a good oxidizing agent and it come uh, to the cathode side so it is cathode and it is anode obviously one is cathode if you find out the what is cathode here the easily you can uh, find out the anode so if i write the salt uh, representation with the salt bridge so here zinc is going to be zinc 2 plus zinc 2 plus with a uh, uh, salt bridge 
and here reduction takes place due to the presence of H plus ions undergoing to hydrogen gas and here we inserted some platinum uh, that is uh, inert electrode as uh, I told you in previous uh, uh, classes uh, of the uh, video pre in previous videos that is platinum inert electrode so what will happen here re reaction at anode reaction at anode we already know that uh, rau rau reaction at anode oxidation so if uh, you have any rau person then that is the uh, reaction at anode uh, that is oxidation so oxidation means zinc going to be zinc 2 plus plus 2 electrons reaction at a cathode cathode mm, reaction at a cathode that is uh, reduction rcr so that is uh, reduction uh, re reduction will take place reduction which atom are present here this here is the two h plus plus two electrons going to be hydrogen gas hydrogen gas uh, so here is the this one value uh, so net reaction will be net reaction will be so two electron two electron get cancelled so obviously zinc two h plus is going to be zinc two plus plus hydrogen gas is evaluation at the cathode uh, hydrogen gas is evaluated at the cathode which electrode is present at the cathode is platinum electrode and so e naught cell if you find out the e naught cell is equals to same thing e naught of ox plus e naught of red so e naught of ox e naught of red you know that is um, e naught of uh, uh, e naught of reduction is h plus by h2 and e naught of ox is uh, e naught of ox is zinc going to be zinc 2 plus but given is the reduction potential so minus of uh, uh, zinc 2 plus by zinc plus uh, e naught of h plus by h2 so e naught of uh, minus uh, e naught of this one that means uh, minus of uh, minus 0 0.76 plus 0 that is equals to plus 0 0.76 that means reaction is reaction is a uh, e naught value e naught cell is equals to positive that means reaction is spontaneous reaction so this reaction also spontaneous reaction that means this reaction is spontaneous when you add zinc it in uh, zinc metal uh, and add some uh, hcl to that immediately hydrogen gas evaluation takes place at the uh, electrode so platinum electrode so this is the reaction is spontaneous reaction so this is the spontaneous reaction so if you take the another combination that is uh, one thing is metal metal combination is over and metal and hydrogen is over hydrogen hydrogen is over now we can take this is the first one this is second and third is third type is which one we have to take that is non-metal with hydrogen combination so non-metal hydrogen combination we will take here so first you take the non-metal non-metal is uh, from the standard uh, electrode potential values so e naught of e naught of cl2 by cl minus cl2 by cl minus that is uh, plus 1.36 volt and e naught of hydrogen that is h plus by h2 is equals to zero so h2 h2 by uh, h2 is equals to zero so here what will happen both are gases so both side we have to take the um, platinum electrode so this is the value this is zero and this is positive sign which value is higher value so obviously uh, positive values are higher value that will come to the cathode cathode so this where uh, this is come right side that is cathode so right side how can we make the uh, cell so first we make the cell with a platinum electrode because uh, both are uh, mm, platinum uh, with a uh, platinum is uh, left side this is the right side this is the anode obviously it is anode so anode anode this one is the anode so platinum platinum uh, platinum with a uh, uh, here is the head h plus that is hydrogen how can we uh, generate the h2 by h plus h2 plus h h2 by h plus uh, salt bridge will be present um, h2 by h plus h2 going to be because here uh, oxidation is taking place and right side is the reduction reduction is uh, in at of that one cl2 
Cl2 by Cl minus with the platinum electrode. So platinum electrode we have to take in that electrode. So reaction at anode, reaction at anode oxidation will take place. So obviously H2 gas is there is going to be 2 H plus plus 2 electrons here and re rao reaction at uh, anode oxidation RAR, uh, rcr so reaction cathode reduction that means reduction how how does it will take the uh, reduction uh, reduction is the cl2 plus 2 electrons plus 2 electrons gives rise to uh, 2 cl minus 2 cl minus so 2 cl minus that means if you write the net reaction if you write the net reaction here two electrons two electrons will get cancelled so h2 h2 plus cl2 is gives rise to 2 hcl so what is the value of the what is the value of um, uh, uh, total cell potential that is the standard potential of the cell e cell is equals to e ox plus e red so what is the e oxidation anode is the oxidation anode is the oxidation so anode oxidation how does it takes the anode oxidation that means e naught of h2 going to be h plus and e naught of reduction is cl2 going to be cl minus so here um, h2 going to be uh, this is minus of uh, minus of e naught of h plus by h2 and this is e naught of the here e naught of uh, cl2 by cl minus so this value will be zero and this is plus uh, 1.36 1.36 that is e naught of cell is equals to 1.36 that is spontaneous reaction this is the spontaneous reaction so reaction is happening at the spontaneous reaction e naught cell value will be positive that means it is spontaneous reaction so next thing is metal non metal combination so metal and non metal combination so here if you take the metal and non metal combination non metal combination so metal and non metal combination so how how do we take the metal and non metal combination so if you see the metal metal means you can take any magnesium metal so e naught of mg 2 plus by magnesium is equals to minus 2.37 volt and e naught of non metal that is chlorine you can take cl minus is equals to plus uh, 1.36 volt so uh, this is the which one value is higher value minus and plus so obviously it is a um, higher value higher standard reduction potential value so good oxidizing agent and obviously it will it will come at a cathode so this will be at a cathode so cathode means first salt bridge cathode how can we write the uh, uh, this one is the cl2 cl2 by cl minus it is platinum and this side if you see this one uh, magnesium 2 plus is going to be uh, here there is no need of uh, another electrode magnesium 2 plus is going to be magnesium it is wrong so magnesium is going to be magnesium 2 plus this here is the oxidation and this side is the reduction so reaction at anode reaction at anode rao so rao reaction at anode oxidation so anode that is mg gives rise to mg 2 plus plus 2 electrons reaction at cathode reaction at cathode is going to be cl2 uh, cl2 plus 2 electrons gives rise to cl minus so net reaction will be net reaction is equals to 2 electrons 2 electrons get cancelled so magnesium magnesium plus cl2 gives rise to magnesium plus 2 plus 2 cl minus so 2 cl minus so what is the value of e naught cell is equals to e naught of ox plus uh, e naught of red so reduction potentials and oxidation potential so e naught of ox and e naught of red e naught of oxidation potential oxidation mm, so e naught of oxidation means metal going to be metal plus ions so magnesium mm, magnesium is going to be magnesium 2 plus plus e naught of red so e naught of reduction is the cl2 going to be cl minus so e naught but here given is the reduction potential so minus of uh, mg2 plus by mg 
plus C naught of Cl2 by Cl minus. So this value will be minus of Mg2 plus by Mg. This is Mg by Mg2 plus. So this one is the minus 2.37 plus uh, E naught of this. Uh, this value is 1.36. So this is 1.36. Three six. So minus into minus will get the plus value two point three seven plus one point three six. That will give you the two three three point three point seven three. This is the volts of the E naught cell. E naught cell is equals to this is the value. So we will get as with this is a spontaneous. So another is non metal non metal combination non metal. Uh, non metal and non metal combination so non metal and non metal combination so if you see the non metal e naught of cl2 going to be cl minus will give you the plus 1.36 volts and e naught of i2 mm, is going to be i minus is equals to 0.536 volt so which one is the higher value so obviously 1.36 is a higher value so it come right side so it is cathode it is cathode means obviously it is anode so when, how can we represent the cell here cell cell here cell representation will be so first is anode a b c bridge anode is a uh, anode is with this one e, uh, iodine iodine that is i min i2 I minus I minus is going to be I two, so I minus is going to be I two, I minus is going to be I two, and here is the uh, here uh, Cl two minus is going to be Cl minus, and here electrodes are this side platinum and this side also platinum electrode. So gases uh, in non metal case we have to use the platinum gas. So reaction at anode. What is the reaction at anode? Anode is the this one. So obviously, 2i minus is going to be i2 plus 2 electrons oxidation row, and the reaction at cathode that means Cl2. Cl2 going to be uh, Cl2 plus 2 electrons is gives rise to uh, 2Cl minus. So 2Cl minus net reaction is equals to 2 electrons. 2 electrons it will get cancelled. So 2i minus plus uh, Cl2 is gives rise to 2Cl minus plus i2. So what is the E cell? Uh, e naught of cell is equals to E naught of uh, oxidation plus E naught of reduction. So what is the E naught of oxidation? E naught of oxidation will be um, i minus is going to be i2 plus E naught of reduction is uh, Cl2 going to be Cl minus. So Cl2 going to be Cl minus. So if you if you uh, take the values, so this one is the minus of uh, uh, minus of um, minus of E naught of I2 by I minus plus uh, E naught of Cl2 by Cl minus. So minus value. Uh, this is the uh, here I am writing. So here it is uh, minus of minus 0 0.53 plus uh, minus of 0 0.53 6 plus um, plus 1.36 volts is equals to how much it will come minus 0 0.536 and uh, plus uh, this is come around 0 0.827 this is the positive value that means it is a spontaneous reaction so this is a spontaneous reaction so this is about the uh, non metals and metals combination so first we took the uh, first how do how do we combine here is the first we combine with the metal metal combination next metal hydrogen combination and metal non metal combination and non metal hydrogen combination and non metal non metal combination so these are the combination we studied with the spontaneous reactions.